You're watching Taste the Victory. Hey everyone, I am joined, or rather, I am on stream today with Farfa, who has graciously given me his time to see if he can guess Digimon cards correctly. So this is going to be a really fun one here. Going in, you know absolutely nothing about Digimon, like, period, from the card game, correct? I couldn't tell you what, like, anything, nothing. I don't know, I don't know if it's a field, a board, I don't know if they're called monsters or creatures or any, I, I, is there a graveyard, is there not a graveyard? I have no clue, I don't know anything about this game. Cool. So you're going into Digimon completely blind. That's a lot of fun. So there is some things that are very unique to this game that I think like should be pointed out just so you have a fair shot at guessing some of these. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. So this is like what the typical feel of Digimon looks like. Uh, so first thing you're going to see is um, this stuff here on the left. This is your life. Okay, so a Digimon deck is 50 cards and the top five at the beginning of the game become your life. That's called security. So cards can get trapped There's in here. Random cards on the top of your deck. Yeah, just the very first five after you're done shuffling. You just gotta like prage this good stuff in there. Okay. <laughs> so um, there's stuff that gets stuck in there. Sometimes they will have security effects. Normally to play cards, you would need to meet uh, a requirements of color on the field. And if they get stuck in here, they will have a security effect. You can play them for free and stuff like that. So it's cool. So it's kind security of like- Security effect. Mm -hmm. Which basically like that's, ignores that's cost and technical color. name. Yes. <laughs> okay, effect. nice. All right, yeah, so, so something PSA a security check, got it. Yeah, so like attacking your opponent can be kind of dangerous because maybe they'll have a security effect or they'll be big DP. Oh, security mirror force, let's go, okay. Like Wait, is your graveyard literally just called the trash? Yes, it's literally just called trash. <laughs> like Digimon's wow. like this whole digital thing, you know? So it's like, oh, the trash bin, recycle bin. <laughs> right, <laughs> I see, I see, okay. For sure. So then nice. we have the main thing here, this is like the big thing people always get uh, their eyes caught, is the memory system. So you see this number line down here? You got one for yourself and one for your opponent and each of them goes up to 10. The game starts at zero and each card has a number in the top left, which is like a play cost. So to play a card, you simply need to meet the color if it's an option and then play the play cost. So for example, here, if we start mana, at zero, right? we go to three. It's basically mana, except it's not in your deck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sure. Cool. Yeah. So like, why is it point, called memory? Is it supposed to be RAM? Is that why? I think that's actually what it is. Yeah. I think it's just like RAM. <laughs> Nice, okay. Yeah, very digital themed, yeah. So like, any play you make, you always have to keep in mind, like, am I giving my opponent too much to work with? You know, stuff like that, basically. All right, so yeah. And one memory is huge in this game. Like, literally just one is, like, difference between winning or losing. So it's something to keep Whoa, in mind. Oh, okay, no spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's, like, something, like, very important to judging stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be our first uh, card. So in this game, you go from an egg to, uh, which is a level two, all the way up to a level seven, which is, like, a super mega or whatever. All right, so this guy is a rookie. This would be the equivalent to like Agumon level Digimon. Like if you know that guy, Gabumon, those little dudes. All right. Is he like the Charizard of Digimon? Agumon? Or, or yeah. Like the Agumon's okay. like the Pikachu right. of this game, yeah. <laughs> sure, okay. So, uh, so what is play cost? Is that, the, is that the memory? Yeah, so there's two memory costs. Play cost is like you can just hard slam them onto the field. Uh, otherwise, normally in Digimon, you climb. Like Pokemon, you evolve over a guy. And that would be the Digivolve cost down here. So for a level two, it's free. So typically you're gonna to wanna to prioritize Digivolving, which is this cost usually. And then right. you got these effects down here. So normally a Digimon will have an effect up here, which is like they can use it whenever. And then down here, this is called an inheritable effect. Um, to get, this effect is not live. This, not, this effect is never live until something has Digivolved over this and it's underneath another card. Right, okay, uh, sure. <laughs> Okay, so how do I just summon this? Like, I have to play cost three, but like, where does that cost come from? Is that, that's memory, right? Yes, that's memory. So like the timeline, okay. it's just there. You just pay the cost and you move the little slide over to your opponent's side. So if you're at one, okay. you're starting them off at two. So like, you don't like physically have to give up anything. There's nothing in the deck. It's just there in the field. And you just like hard slam it and say, yeah, I'm doing this. Otherwise, um, if you have a level two in your breeding area, you put this card over the level two for a memory cost of zero. <laughs> area. Sorry. You know what the worst uh, part is? It used to be called the uh, raising area in, in Japan. I don't know why they changed it. <laughs> wow, so they made it worse. Unfortunate. <laughs> um, when attacking your opponent has two or more suspended Digimon gain a memory. Well, mm -hmm. that's pretty good, but I need to evolve it in order to get that. Right. It's not But active. it's free to evolve. Uh, this guy, yes. But once you go up, it starts becoming a bit more expensive with every level. I'm not sure if I'm completely understanding this. What is the 2000 DP up there? What does that mean? So that's basically like their attack points in Yu-Gi-Oh. Right. So this okay. is like their life and their attack points. So like you, uh, Digimon is a climb deck. So you're going from like level three to four to five and you just like put it over the card and pay the memory. 
Um, I, f I okay. This seems really bad for level three. I don't know. So I have to evolve it, or I can't. So I don't get that effect until I it it gets evolved. Yeah, until you evolve, and then you have to attack, and then you have to meet the condition. Yeah. Yeah, this seems so slow, and then I can't even play it until like turn three or Ram three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is this is bad. This is not a good card. <laughs> Ram I really like Ram three. Okay, let's go ahead and see if you were right on that one. First one, Farfly, and you're actually correct on this one. This card is not see any use in the game. It's just like oh, way wow. too specific. So like, you're right, this thing is slow. And I mentioned at the beginning, one memory is really important, but like it's too specific of addition. It's too slow to be able to only get one memory. And green is an archetype that has better ways to gain memory. Yeah, for sure. Oh, so yeah, the colors matter as well. Yeah, we have like red, blue, yellow, purple, and black. And then there's like white, but like white's just kind of like a balancing tool. It doesn't really exist as its own proper color. Oh, okay. sorry. That's, yeah, so I mean, it makes a lot of sense. It looks good and it's probably good when it gets going, but yeah, mm -hmm. it's just like slow and specific and very niche and Okay. Yeah, nice. you totally nailed it on the head with this one. So let's see if the rest of this goes just as well. <laughs> one for one. All right, so this is Greymon. This is Pikachu's evolution in Digimon. This dude's really iconic. When Digivolving, if this Digimon has Agamon and his Digivolution cards gain a memory. Uh, so it's, what is this? Like, it has two effects? Like, it's got the thing down there and also that main one? Yep. So this uh, main effect up here, it's active whenever you trigger it. And these effects down here are not active until something has evolved over this card. Okay, well, okay. What, when you say when something has evolved over this card, what does that mean? That means I have to summon Greymon and then evolve something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So let's say you had uh, this guy and he was red. You just put him, you put Greymon on top of him for a cost of two. And you put him, you lay him over so that this effect on the bottom is still showing. And then like, that's it. You pay the two costs. He's now a level four. Like the little guy has become this dude and you build right, up a stack okay. continuously. Oh, okay. And you can just stack all these like multiple effects, I guess? Oh, where are you going? Yeah, that's like the cool um, thing about the game. You're trying to build like a Megazord with all these amazing inheritables, you know, basically. Well, this Digimon has Omnimon or Greymon other than Doru Greymon, Burning Greymon or Dex Doru Greymon in its name. It gets 2000 DP. Mm -hmm. um, turn five. I don't know. I feel like this thing doesn't have anything going for it except that it gets big. And at least in Yu-Gi-Oh, having big guy isn't necessarily good. It needs to have good effects. But I don't know how far along this thing is, uh, mm -hmm. this game is in its power creep cycle. Also, mm -hmm. Greymon is like vaccinated dinosaur champion. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like the types in this like dark and uh, uh, fish and stuff like that. It's like their tributes and type. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's gonna be my final answer. I think this thing sucks. Okay, totally fair. Let's see if that's correct or not. It's actually, you are wrong on this one, the first miss. <laughs> this Ooh. card is great. <laughs> Cause um, okay. this thing has Why? potential to Digivolve really cheap, basically. Uh, Cause he is a two cost Digivolution, so you could potentially half it right away with his gain one memory, you know? So like that allows flexibility in your memory management. Like it's the difference between being able to go to a level five as well after this guy without passing turn, you know? And um, mm. like you were saying, big numbers is actually pretty important to this game because every time you uh, reveal a Digimon in security, you have to battle it. So you check their DP. So you could die into security is really bad. So any DP boost is great to make sure you live over their big guy stuck in security. I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah for sure. Well, so, so, but it's mostly just because like it's easy to get out, quote unquote, easier to get out. Right. Yeah, basically. Good... Yeah, he's a cheap guy that can maybe be useful in the long game. Mm hmm. Okay, sure. This one's also kind of an iconic Digimon. He's the evolution Jeez. of Gabumon. So this is where Wear Garumon. Yes, sir. Seven. Yikes. When attacking, once per turn, this Digimon is Garumon a division evolution. Unsuspend this Digimon. Oh, unsuspension. Nice. What is this mechanic? <laughs> so when you attack, you have to turn them sideways. Unsuspending is turning it right back up so it can attack again. Oh, Boral Sword. Let's exactly. <laughs> While you have eight or more cards in your hand, this gains security attack plus one. This Digimon checks one additional security card. Okay, what? It, so how does what does gaining a security attack mean? So every time a Digimon attacks into security, you are doing one check, like just by game mechanics. So security attack plus one means you get to do an additional one with only one swing. So you tap this card over once, and he does two damage. I see. Um, if Digimon has good unsuspend this Digimon, um. I feel like it's really good. It's just like the cost that's throwing me off. It seems expensive. Mm -hmm. Is that the, um, the play cost? Digivolt? Yeah, the play cost and the Digivolt. So what Digivolt cost is what? That's it costs a... three to evolve into him? Yes, three. This guy costs three to evolve into him over a level four. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I have a level 4, I can Digivolve with 3 memory. Yeah. And generally, players will want to prioritize the Digivolve cost because it's cheaper. Right. But hypothetically, you can just play this for 7. Hypothetically, you can, but if you look at the main effect, like it kind of involves having a guy in his sources, yeah. so I don't know how good that would be. <laughs> um, A 3 cost level 4 to go into this guy that can check security twice. I feel like this is a good card. Mm-hmm. I think this is good. Okay, cool. To check twice, you do need like eight or more for its inheritable. Does that change anything? Eight or more cards? No, I think card advantage in a lot of other card games is is very, like, what's the what, what's the word? I, f I feel like in games like this, in card fight, like you just end up with like twenty cards in hand and you're just kind of chilling, right? Like, so I feel like the card advantage usually doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. But I could be completely wrong. So <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and see. Uh, no, you're on the money. This is part of the best deck in the game currently. This card's amazing. This is yeah. the enabler of an OTK. <laughs> it's ah, like, yeah, okay. like you were saying the Boral Sword comparison. I was gonna actually say that same thing because like this is like probably as close as you get to that in, in Digimon. It's ridiculous. Because like he's one of the most popular Digimon from the anime, so his archetype is insane. Uh, so you don't have to worry about meeting the name requirement down here. That'll be easy. It's Gururumon. Um, and then he easily contributes to an OTK. And you were right, hand advantage is so easy in this game, so you don't even care that you need eight or hand for its effect. Yeah, I've noticed that. I feel like card advantage doesn't mean anything in like most card games, except like Yu-Gi-Oh, probably. Yeah, it feels like a uniquely Yu-Gi-Oh thing, because like Pokemon's the same thing. You just trash your whole hand, draw a new one. This one is a tamer. So, uh, kind of been alluding to this throughout. There's three main um, type of cards in Digimon. There is the Digimons, uh, option cards, which are like spell cards. And these are tamers, which are like continuous spell cards. So this guy, you play hey. him and he sticks on the field. And it just costs two to activate this, right? Yes. No Digivolve cost Okay, and here. what is the security effect? Does this mean it has an effect while face down or...? Okay, so uh, while it's in those five cards that we saw at the beginning, what that means, if it's, if it's in there, your opponent attacks you and it's revealed as the card of that attack, it will activate the effect. And in this case, you just get to put it on your field and activate its effects for free. Right. Mm -hmm. And when how does like attacking security work? Like your opponent just picks a random face down card and they're like, I'm gonna attack this one, like magical hats or what? Uh, there's a set order that you uh, put the cards in, so you just declare that you're going to swing at that? them. What was that? Do you choose the order? No, the top card of your deck has to be the bottom card of your security, and you just like put them in that order, you know? Like, five as right. they go. So they're completely random, okay. you don't really know what they are, and you just declare, oh, I'm going to attack, and they have to reveal the top card of security. Okay, let's see. So cost to reveal the on play, reveal the top three, add the Digimon and trash the rest. Oh, okay. Pot of duality. That's probably good. Uh, all turns. What does that mean? Just like continuous? Yeah. So like it works on either player's turn. Yeah. When one of your level five or higher Digimons with Digivolution cards is deleted. <laughs> is that what it's called? Delete. So, it's so thematic. Yeah. <laughs> you may suspend this tamer. If you do gain one memory, then hatch a Digi Egg card to an empty space in your breeding area. Um, wait, so what does suspending it mean again? Uh, it means you turn the card sideways. Oh, right, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I don't know, this guy seems insane. Like, it's only two costs and it has a really good on-play effect, and it seems to, I guess, be the equivalent of a floater. Mm -hmm. Like, this seems, this seems very good. I'm pretty sure this is a really, really good card. Okay, yeah, you, you nailed it this time. This is a really great card. It's one of the most generic searchers in the game, which is pretty rare. Yeah, because everything in this game is like archetype based. So this is actually like one of the very few things that just searches any red of Digimon. Can I just have like multiples of these face up? Oh yeah, definitely. You could like... Oh shit, multiple. you can just trigger like multiple hatchings and breathings and stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, if you have three of these, you can um activate it. I mean, you can only do one hatch per like system mechanic. So like if an egg is already hatched, you can't do that. But I do believe you get the memory. So and how many cards can you play in a deck in Digimon? Is it like 60 and then four of each or? Yeah, everyone plays 50. You can't do more or less. Okay, sure. You're doing pretty good at this. All right, so <laughs> this is an option card. I mentioned this one a little bit earlier. So these are like spell cards, except they're not continuous. Okay, I'm just gonna like, I, I, I haven't even read the card that it says cost zero and I just, I feel like this is gonna be insane. So, um, <laughs> it's, this is just a spell you can just activate for free. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the next time one of your green Digimon Digivolves this turn, suspend one of your Digimon to reduce the memory cost of the Digimon. <laughs> what? <laughs> you could... This thing is not even, like, good. This thing's, like, banned, I'm pretty sure, right? <laughs> like, this is absurd. You... You just basically tap this for minus five cost on Digivolve for free? Like, no, this thing's bonkers. They need to, like, delete this card. 
Haha, <laughs> delete, let's delete. Get it? <laughs> yeah. He's learning chat. Yeah, this this is this is fucked. Like this is crazy. <laughs> this card's pretty, yeah. That's insane, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This card is surprisingly, this is not banned. This card is limited to one in the game. Oh, okay. Yeah. But not horrible though, because like if you draw it, you just kinda like maybe auto win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people hate it when you draw this because it's your Saki one of. They're like, oh, I just lost to the Saki. It's just a one of, you know? I can't believe you drew this. It was like Soul Charge, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of like that. Or like Cyber Science is like a lot of people will usually use it with another monster on the field to suspend that one to go into your boss monster for free, you know? <laughs> All right, so this is All right, this thing is shiny AF. Yeah. So it has to be good. Wait, oh. so this only costs three to digivolve into from five? Yes. And this are the level Damn. sixes, which are typically the boss monsters. And it's huge. Oh, it's got a pentagram. So he's like a, a, a Satan Digimon. That has to be good. Uh, <laughs> trash the top two cards of your deck for each of your opponent's Digimon in play. Uh, if you trash four more cards with this effect, you may play one level five or lower purple Digimon card from your trash without paying its very cost. <laughs> okay. Uh, when attacking once per turn, for every 10 cards in your trash, trash the top three cards of your opponent's deck, and this Digimon gets 3,000 for the turn. Bro, this is just like Dante. This is actually just Dante. That's <laughs> this insane. is a BA of Digimon. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, this thing is pretty... Oh, I don't know, is it a Jebate, though? How good is it, really? I feel like milling cards is like... I don't know, is there... Would you say there's a lot of... Uh, grave effects, uh, trash effects in this game? Uh, purple like, is a color that like focuses around the, tra the trash graveyard, yeah. Okay, so if I trash two cards from the top of my deck, like, can I hit things that do stuff? Oh, uh, yeah, there's cards that activate off of mill, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Mega Virus Demon Lord. Nah, this guy. <laughs> this is probably the best purple card or whatever it is, right? Like, this has to be their best card, surely. Like, or best monster, uh, boss monster, right? Like, this is very, very good. Super or maybe it's mid. I don't know. I, maybe it's a Jabay. It's like, hmm. You have to evolve a level three. But then again, if you just draw the, the last card, you can just summon this turn one for free anyway. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, I feel like it's good. I, f I think this is a good card. It's um, a secret rare, yeah, so you would think that, right? Yeah, it mills a lot, and then like for every 10, you can trash three of your opponents, and then it gains 3,000. Mm -hmm. Or the turn, like 14. Ooh, I, I mean, that is very freaking big. I'm going to say this is a good card. I don't know if it's like amazing, but it definitely seems pretty strong and cheap to summon. I feel like this is not that hard to summon. For sure. That's a valid guess. And unfortunately, I got to inform you it was wrong. This card is bad mid at absolute best. It's not too good. Oh, <laughs> so, damn. Yeah, this card is really? not that great. Yeah, because uh, like mill isn't like a totally viable win condition in this game just yet. Because like games go by fast. Decks will beat you before you have a chance to mill them out. So this is at least still used as a one of in like control decks as an alternate win con. But like that's very few in this meta. Like, I wasn't the game really so thinking that deck out was like the strategy surrounding it. I just thought like you're just milling. Mm -hmm. And then like you can trigger stuff and then it brings a guy out for free. Like mm -hmm. play a level five or lower purple Digimon from your trash without paying its memory. Like it just it just reborn something mm -hmm. on summon. That's kind of, I thought that was maybe kind of sick. Yeah, so like but that guess, kind yeah. of like relies on your opponent a bit. Cause like it's trash two for every one of your opponent's Digimon in play. And you have to do four. So you need the like to have basically you're relying on your opponent there. And then there's other stuff in this game that like mill stuff faster. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Because this is like the boss monster, you usually want them to like win you the game rather than be setting up more of your mill plays. Sure. Yeah. So this card isn't too hot right now. Well, so that was like the first debate. Let's see how this one goes. Uh, it's another cost zero. So I mean, these things just have to be good. <laughs> Crash the top card of your security stack and then gain two memory. Ooh. It's a painful choice, huh? I don't know if I if I'd call it painful choice, but I guess the no. idea is that you. Right, no. So how do you lose a game in Digimon? You just run out of security. Uh, you have to attack your opponent at zero security. So you have to like get them out of security and then do one more additional attack. And I you feel like this is. Hmm. I mean, okay. The the equivalent I can think of is this is like a ramp card, like a druid card in Hearthstone. Totally. Where you just like gain mana like instantly turn one, and that probably puts you really far ahead. Uh, but I guess that probably like is terrible to top deck and mid game. But huh, I don't know. Maybe Digimon doesn't have mid games and it's already been power crept. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know. This I'd say this is very good. This seems really really good. All right. It's cool. like you just gain two memory turn one. Like that. Uh -huh. That's that has to be that probably puts you very significantly far ahead. Is that the Yu-Gi-Oh in you talking? Where like the only life points that matters is your last life point? 
Yeah, literally. Like, it doesn't matter if you sacrifice one of your five securities if you're, like, up on two mana and you can play cards that your opponent can't until they wait two more turns, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it has to be sick. All right, let's see. Let's see if that is correct. This card is actually mid Farfa. It, it does not see play. What? Really? This card is mid. So this is, like, a really interesting scenario. Like, maybe this card could be good in, like, ramp-based decks like you were saying, but the color that it's stuck in does not support this playstyle at all. Yellow is like a very like controlly style, so like this card has seen use and it's fallen off like crazy. Like everything else has way more efficient ways to gain memory. Oh, okay. Do not see use because yellow doesn't support the playstyle. Unfortunate. Yeah. Um, okay. Hmm. Oh well. Maybe <laughs> I. You know what? I think the Digimon player base has not taken advantage of this card. That's my. That's my take. I think Farfus you got a, you ramping take. by two, two memory turn one. You guys are playing this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're spinning right now. I gotta agree with you on that one. <laughs> so yeah, this is Diaboromon. If anyone in chat has seen Digimon the movie, this is like the main bad guy from the film. So I can Digivolve this for four for, uh, by using a five, right? Yeah, by putting it over a five, a black five. You may when you tag you may play one Diaboromon token without paying its memory cost. Diaboromon token. Diaboromon token is a level 6 white Digimon with a memory cost of 14, 3,000 DP, and our mega form unidentified type and unknown attribute. Uh, this reminds me of like Nether Soul Dragon. It just attacks and then summons a guy, right? Like mm -hmm. just a vanilla. Yeah. Right. Um, Alto, when this Digimon would be deleted, you may delete one of your other Diaboromon to prevent this Digimon from being deleted. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a very good protection effect, right? Like it just has a ton of tokens and then it just never dies because you're constantly like just summoning other dudes and then sacrificing them to protect him. Yeah. Maybe it's like too slow though. I don't know. Plus you mentioned it's in the movie and those cards tend to suck, right? Like Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, it's always like Bat Chest, Diaboromon and then you play it in a real game and it's like, wow, I brick, just like playing Chaos Max, you know? Right. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this guy is not that good. Um, hmm. Play one token without paying its memory cost when attacking. This is this this is not good, right? This, it just summons a guy. I guess it's hard to clear, but mm -hmm. there's probably other ways to clear multiple times in a turn than just trying to delete it on turn friggin' five. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this thing isn't that good. Uh you're you're right, Farfa. It's not good. Like this card yeah. is super slow and like I said just now, like it's deleted only in battle, so like you can just use an option and get rid of this with an effect. It's not a big deal. <laughs> this card is super slow, super clunky, his protection is easy to get around, it's not good. Oh my god, just like Blue Eyes, they're both like movie cards. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, so I think we are on to the last card now. Cause like Digimon goes from two to seven, so let's go ahead and end this on a level seven. Omnimon. So if Agumon is Pikachu, this is Charizard. What is this Digivolve cost? Why is there two costs? Yeah, so in like the anime, this guy is a fusion of two Digimon. So to represent that, you could Digivolve from either a uh, red or blue uh, level six for four. You don't need both. You just have the option now to, to do red or blue. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean like just like level seven, this thing has to be like bananas, right? Because that's very high level. Um, mm -hmm. When Digivolving Blitz, what does Blitz mean? Like quick effect or something? So it tells you here in the reminder text, it means like whenever you pass over, whatever your turn is about to pass, uh, you could get one more additional attack in. What it when is, the memory is yeah. one or more on your opponent's side, this Digimon can attack. When the memory is one or more, this Digimon can attack. What does that mean? So that basically means uh, if you Digivolve into this guy and it passes turn, he can still attack. Because normally, as soon as the memory goes over and after every effect is finished resolving, you have to pass it over to your opponent. You can't do anything else. So it basically attacks on your opponent's turn? Technically, yeah. Because, like, technically oh. it's still your turn as your effects resolve, this, but normally you wouldn't be able to attack in that window, and this lets you. Lets you. Right. Okay. <laughs> and when digivolving and unsuspend the strength, so when it's, when, when you, when you evolve into him, it untaps itself? It untaps itself, yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot. Does, does everything have summoning sickness in this game? Yes. Oh, well, that changes a lot. Damn. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I should have mentioned that. <laughs> um, all turns when this Digimon would be deleted or returned to the hand or deck by your opponent's effect, trash level 6 Digivolution evolution card from this Digimon to prevent this Digimon from being deleted or returned to the hand or deck. Okay, that is a protection effect because if it would be deleted or returned, I feel like this is the equivalent of Dragoon, right? Like it can't be targeted or destroyed and if it does, you just trash an effect from underneath it yeah, you can to protect it. it. Yeah, you 
Um, I don't know, I just feel like maybe it's like slightly too high level. It doesn't seem that amazing, considering its level. It's a decent protection effect, and I guess attacking your opponent's turn is cool, but mm -hmm. something about this just feels very slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, level 7 is like huge in the game. Like You have to spend basically a whole game building up to it. Yeah. I would, I would honestly expect, like, bro, if we're gonna, like, invest all of this time and effort to get into a 7, it would be a little bit better. Like, this seems kind of underwhelming for 7. So I'm gonna say that this is mid. Mid? Okay. Not bad, just mid. Yeah. Alright, let's Probably see. even bad, actually. Bad to mid. If I had to pick between good and bad, I'd say it's bad. Alright, actually, this card's great. <laughs> it's one of the best okay. generic level 7s. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, what the Blitz does, like, OTK decks will run this, because Blitz lets you um, attack no matter what. Like, unless something just prevents you, like, so many sickness, you get that one final attack you need in to go for game. Yes. Right. So, so this okay. is like so I guess you just... Yeah, so you don't actually use it for anything except, like, okay, I think I undervalued the, the attack again on opponent turn thing. Yeah, and since the, when did you evolve unsuspends him? Like, you'll always have that extra attack, you know, like, even if you're already... Yeah. Attacked. Yeah. So, okay. like... The protection is cool. Like, if it comes up, it's actually very valuable. But, like, normally you'll never go into this unless you're ending game. Right. Damn, okay, that makes sense. Oh, I should have saw that. It makes sense. It's 14,000 in attacks again. Like, what? Like, like come on, that's nuts. Right, yeah. Oh, damn it. Okay. How many did I get right, then? Okay, we got at least five. Five of nine. I think it's pretty good. For All right, we got five out of nine. <laughs> I have slightly aver uh, above average uh, Digimon card knowledge, I suppose. That's I'm, I'll take that. You are ready for nationals, my friend. Come to Digimon. That's in LA. <laughs> go. <laughs> Super great. Yeah, for sure. Coming off of knowing nothing, like not even how the memory system works, I think you did really great, honestly. Just off of general card game knowledge. Oh yeah, I didn't know what the field layout was, anything. Like, just using card knowledge to try and guess if uh, these are good. So, I'm actually so mad I got Omnimon wrong. I feel like I, oh man, like, come on, Boral Sword, Access Code, this is what this guy is. I, that's, that's, <laughs> Basically, that's disappointing. Yeah. Right, no, yeah, yeah but that, oh, well. that protection effect was distracting. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. That thank was you awesome. For, uh, for having me. Thank you. No, thank you so much for letting me have the time on the stream. That was so cool. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Thank you. I appreciate it. Chat, if you had some fun as well, drop some Farfa L's. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks, buddy. I'll see you next time. Awesome. I'll see you. Thanks, Farfa.